Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain reflex glistron with great clarity. If you observe the basic structure, then it is appearing somewhat like this. You might have used this reflex glistron in your lab as well. In this video, I'll explain basics, working, structure, apple gate diagram, characteristics and applications of reflex glistron. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of reflex glistron. Reflex glistron is microwave source. So one should know reflex glistron that we use it to generate microwave signal. So one can say reflex glistron is microwave oscillator. Reflex glistron is vacuum tube which generates microwave frequencies. So inside this structure we have vacuum tube using which we generate microwave frequencies. In structure, I'll explain how exactly it generates microwave frequencies. See, reflex glistron operates based on principle of velocity modulation of electron beam. So based on velocity modulation, we generate electron bunch. And based on electron bunch, we generate microwave frequencies. How exactly we generate that even I'll explain by animations that will give you more clarity. Right now consider, Reflex glistron operates based on principle of velocity modulation of electron beam, right? In your laboratory, you might have used reflex glistron as a microwave source as well as one can use it in radar system. Now, I'll explain you structure of reflex glistron. Inside reflex glistron, we have vacuum tube. Let me explain you how. See, here we have glistron tube that is vacuum tube. And here we have anode cavity. See this anode cavity that we use it to gather electrons. So this anode cavity that will be taking electrons and from anode cavity we will be taking RF output means microwave signal. Right. See here we have electron gun. This electron gun is generating electrons and those electrons are collected by this anode cavity. Right. If you observe this electron gun that is connected with negative terminal of anode voltage. So this VA is anode voltage. As we are connecting negative terminal over here, it will be generating electrons over here. And positive terminal of this anode voltage that is connected with anode cavity. So what will happen? Electrons will be moving in this direction. And our agenda is to have a collection of electrons at this anode cavity. Right. If you observe further structure, then here we have Rappler electrode and this Rappler electrode that will be providing repulsive force to electrons. How you see this Rappler electrode that is connected with negative terminal of Rappler voltage. So as we are providing negative terminal of voltage over here, electrons are having negative charge. So whatever electrons are coming over here, they will be experiencing force in this side which is repulsive force because of this Rappler electrode. And here, see this space is very essential. This space is Rappler space. So electrons will be moving towards this side and Rappler electrode will be providing repulsive force to those electrons. And based on movement of electrons in this space, entire working is there. Now, let me explain how exactly working is there. Working is based on velocity modulation. Let me take one example. See here, I'll be considering three electrons. First one is early electron that is generated early. Second one is reference electron and last one is late electron. So, but obviously early electron is having more time to have a travel. The reason is it is generated early and late electron is having less time to have a travel. Now what will happen? These electrons, they will be moving in this direction. So early electron will be moving deeper inside Rappler space. Why it is moving deeper inside Rappler space? The reason is it is having more time and it is having more velocity. If you observe reference electron, so that is also going inside Rappler space and late electron is also going inside Rappler space. But early electron will go deep. Why? The reason is it is having higher velocity and it is having more time. Now what will happen? 
this rappler electrode will repel these electrons and these electrons will be moving towards anode cavity and based on velocity modulation what will happen there will be generation of electron bunch and as electrons are getting bunched at a same instant here one can have microwave output which is RF output right so here what we are doing is we are providing higher velocity to early electrons lower velocity to late electron early electrons are moving deeper inside Rappler space because of which it is having higher time of travel late electron that is not moving deeper inside this Rappler space as it is having lower velocity and it is having lower time to have a travel but at an instant only those electrons are getting gathered over here which is generating bunch and that is happening because of velocity modulation and that velocity modulation is based on Rappler voltage which we provide over here right now let me explain this entire process by Applegate diagram Applegate diagram is a diagram in between Rappler space and time if you observe here on vertical axis we have Rappler space and on horizontal axis we have time here I'll be considering same example we have three electrons first one is early second one is reference and third one is late electron see this electron will be traveling inside Rappler space so it will go deep inside Rappler space by vertical movement one can observe how deep it goes inside Rappler space and by horizontal movement one can observe how much time it takes to reach at anode cavity if you observe this reference electron so that is having bit lower distance which is there inside Rappler space and if you observe late electron so that is having further lower distance inside Rappler space and if you talk about time of travel then early electron that is taking more time to have a travel and late electron that is taking late time to have a travel so at this instant it is generating electron bunch and that electron bunch is gathered at anode cavity that is generating microwave signal right here one thing that you need to take care of see this early electron that is traveling larger distance and it is having higher velocity as well which takes more time to arrive at anode cavity and this late electron that travels lower distance in Rappler space due to lower velocity and it takes less time to arrive at anode cavity so here early electron is having higher velocity late electron is having lower velocity and based on difference in velocities it is generating electron bunch at anode cavity that is referred as velocity modulation and that is done with the use of Rappler voltage let me explain how see on vertical axis we have voltage across gap and on horizontal axis we have time now here if you carefully observe sine wave is shown over here where if you calculate total response time over here see response time that we calibrate with respect to reference electron right if you calibrate that response time then that is t into n plus 3 by 4 see here for this particular case i have considered n is equals to 1 means see this is one cycle and this is 3 by 4 cycle right now this response time that could be at t into 2 plus 3 by 4 means after one more cycle here also there is a possibility that one can generate electron bunch so based on voltage across gap one can produce electron bunch and using electron bunch we can generate microwave signal right so here one thing that you need to understand see this bunch that is getting generated based on voltage across gap right and this bunch is happening because of this much duration only that is t into n plus 3 by 4 where n explains in which mode it is operating 
राइट दिस एन इज इक्वल्स टू वन फॉर फर्स्ट मोड फॉर सेकेंड मोड एन इज इक्वल्स टू टू एंड सो वन एंड ऑल्सो एन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो इज पॉसिबल राइट नाउ आई एक्सप्लेन यू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ रिफ्लेक्स क्लिस्ट्रॉन्ग सी इन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हियर आई एक्सप्लेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू रेपलर वोल्टेज एंड एनोड वोल्टेज here i'll explain that by different modes as i have told modes are depending on that small n in that response time we have t into n plus 3 by 4 of time where as if you have n is equals to 1 then mode is appearing somewhere over here means in this space if you keep rappler voltage and anode voltage then it will be generating microwave signal so in your laboratory you might be changing rappler voltage and anode voltage and by changing that you will be generating microwave signal right so for first mode here you need to tune rappler voltage and anode voltage for second mode you can observe here n is equals to 2 is there where rappler voltage is going down right and here with third mode you can observe we have this tuning range as per this zone where rappler voltage and anode voltage that is calibrated over here and with fourth mode you can observe this response time that is t into 4 plus 3 by 4 where this 4 explains mode right so by having different mode one can generate those electron bunch and based on electron bunch it will be generating microwave signal right now i'll discuss about performance parameters of reflex klistron see using reflex klistron one can generate frequency from 1 gigahertz to 50 gigahertz in my laboratory we are generating frequencies in the range of x band from 8 gigahertz to 12 gigahertz right usually that is what the frequency which we use it in lab the output power that could be there from 1 millivolt to few megavolts see this few megavolts of power that we use it in radar system right in laboratory we don't use megavolts of power theoretically efficiency is 22.78 but practically you will be observing it is there in the range of 10 to 20 percentage now let me talk about applications the reflex klistron that we use it as a microwave source in laboratory usually right majority of applications that you will be observing like it is utilized in laboratory only but one can use it in radar system as well as it could be utilized in communication system so that is how applications are there with reflex klistron i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything that you like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video